आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट विद्वेश्चन The question says that a a capacitor of capacitance C1 is charged to a potential V1, while another capacitor of capacitance C2 is charged to a potential difference V2. The capacitors are now disconnected from their respective charging batteries and connected in parallel to each other. A Find the total energy stored in the two capacitors before they are connected. B. Find the total energy stored in the parallel combination of the two capacitors. C. Explain the reason for the difference of energy in parallel combination in comparison to total energy before they are connected. Let's solve the question. For the first part of our question, A. The total energy before they are connected is given by the expression E. So total energy before they are connected. Now, if we assume that the total energy is capital E, we can just write the total energy as energy in capacitor C one plus energy in capacitor C two, which would be so energy of a capacitor is given by the expression one by two. C V square. Since we are talking about capacitor C one here, so it will be C one V one square. Now similarly, we can just add the energy of the second capacitor to get the total energy. So it will be one by two C two V two square. So this is the total energy of the capacitors before they are connected. Now the next part of our question asks us to find the total energy after they are connected. So, if we assume that V is the potential across the parallel combination, so let V be the potential across the parallel combination. We can write E. We can write C V, or in this case, C one plus C two, since they are in parallel combination. Times V will give us C one V one plus C two times V two. Now rearranging this equation for V, we can find the potential. So V is equal to C one V one plus C two V two divided by C one plus C two. Now why do we need this? It's we need this to find the total energy after they are connected. Now the total energy stored in the parallel combination is given by Total energy is given by now we are assuming the total energy is capital E is equal to half times the effective capacitance which you are going to represent by just C and the potential V squared. Now since they are in parallel combination, C here would be the sum of the capacitances. If they were in series, it would be one by The effective capacitance is equal to one by C one plus one by C two, but here the since they are in parallel, we can just write as the sum of the capacitances. So substituting our known variables into this equation, we get our E as half times C one plus C two times C one V one plus C two V two. Divided by C one plus C two, the whole square since it's C V square. Now solving this equation, we get our E as E equals half times C one V one plus C two V two whole square divided by C one plus C two. Now for the next part of our question C. The difference in energy is due to the loss of energy, which is due to the movement of charge during the sharing of charge. So when we sh the sharing of charge occurs, there is a loss of charge. There is movement of charge, and when whenever there is movement of charge, energy will always be lost. This is the practical use. Theoretically, this shouldn't happen, but we do not live in a theoretical world. We live in the real world. There is always energy loss. So 
the difference in energy uh, so if you are wondering what is the difference of energy the energy before they are connected and the energy after they are connected is different and that is because of the loss of energy which is due to the moment of charge is due to the loss of energy which is due to the moment of charge so charge during the sharing of charge with this we can conclude our answer therefore for a our total energy is given by e equals c1 v1 squared by 2 plus c2 v2 squared by 2 for b our energy is given by c1 v1 plus c2 v this whole squared divided by 2c1 plus c2 and our c energy is lost due to movement of charge only some of the energies are not all charge Thank you. Class 6 to 12 से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन और एडवांस के लेवल तक दस मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर